friends, welcome back to Motivational Monday. Hello, hello, welcome to Sheets in Her Apron. If you're new here, I am Kimmy. And today I'm gonna to do things a little differently. I thought I would talk about how I'm getting ready for Monday, tomorrow, super fast, and then just do an update to chat with you all. Um, it, I, <laughs> I did not make you like a really nice format of Motivational Monday because it was spring break this week and we literally laid low. Well, except for me, I have been working on the freezer meal videos, so that's, you know, but other than that, we have laid low. We didn't do anything spectacular for spring break because we are leaving for Hawaii in a couple of months, so yeah, we're excited, we're super excited. So today was a fun day. We had dinner at a friend's home and I made a new recipe I've never made before, which you're gonna be seeing later this week on the dinners and the food that we've eaten in the last like week or so. It was really good, it was this really yummy like Greek vinaigrette chicken, it was so good and so easy, so I'm excited to share that with you. Um, we had that. Uh, Caesar salad. Um, I made a yummy spinach dip. It's the Norse spinach dip. Um, I'll show you a package of it. Uh, made that recipe off the back. So good. We had it with bread and celery and carrots. Yum. But everyone made that recipe, that chicken recipe, and brought it to dinner. So um, we celebrated our friend's birthday, and she loves that chicken. So each family made a portion of it and brought it. That way, there would be enough for everybody, and it went really well. The last few times we've had dinner at our one friend's house, we have done that. We, I think we did it with the cor um, what was it called? The steak cornitas. Derek's got his headsets in. <laughs> He's sitting like literally right there. Um, so I, I like that. You know, make a portion and everyone brings it and it's fun to see how someone else made it. It was really good. Like I made my uh, chicken tonight with chicken thighs and I think everyone else did breasts. Um, so I had a whole chicken thigh. My one friend shredded her chicken. It was, it was great. It was so great to see how each person, you know, each family took the recipe and kind of tweaked it. It was really neat. I really liked that concept a lot. Also, to get ready for tomorrow, I threw a load of laundry in. This means there is something in this washer that cannot go in the dryer. It's magnetized. I bought some printing stuff with magnets on the back. And that's how I know there's something that should not go in the dryer. That way when I am sifting through the laundry, I can find it and take it out. Now I'm washing all the school uniforms for the little kids. And, um, getting things ready for in the morning. I'll put this in the dryer before I go to bed. Okay, got the washer and the dryer going. So I'm just gonna remember to put it in the dryer after I make this. Oh, I hate that when I forget. And then I we showered Boston and Shaylee and got Shaylee's hair all nice and dried. One of my favorite memories as a kid is when my mom would blow dry my hair. I love it. I still do. Like I wish people would just sit and brush my hair. Or blow dry my hair. I think that's why I love going to the hair salon. It's like, feels so good. And I sat down tonight and I planned in my planner for the crazy busy week that I have.
Okay, so I thought I would do just an update on us and just chit chat for a couple of minutes. So the videos have been slow coming out. Um, I'm just so busy here in the home. We have so much that we're doing. The freezer meals take time. And it's starting to become that busy time of year at school. There's more things happening. And so they're gonna be sporadic. I wish I could say that you're constantly gonna get the four videos a week from me, but I can't. It's just that nutty right now. Um, okay, so with Callie, <laughs> um, she has prom coming up the end of this month, and I am so excited for her. Um, she got asked in a really cute way, and um, yeah, so she's excited for prom. It's her last prom. Oh my gosh, her prom dress is gorgeous, and I can't wait for you to see the video. Her dress is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So she has prom at the end of the month. She also has graduation coming up in May. In fact, two graduations. She is graduating from the tech college next door to her school. Um, she has passed for a dental assistant. So she is so excited to be able to have that tool under her belt where she can get a job anywhere, which is so neat. So especially while going through college, she could work you know, at a dentist's office or however how she wants to do it. So I am so proud of her. She worked really hard. Um, she had late nights studying. She um, studied her butt off, and um, I'm just so proud of her. So proud of her. And then she's graduating from high school a week after she graduates from the M Tech College, and um, and so she is over the moon, thrilled. And I'm excited. Derek's way excited for her. It's just I can't believe we're here. I can't believe we're here. We started Sheets in Her Apron's journey. Um, right when she started middle school I want to say for yeah right when she started middle school so it's neat to see her progression in the videos so um, we have that coming up we have a graduation party that I'm planning for um, yeah so big things for Callie coming up. Uh, Jonah, he's doing really good. He has been doing track this spring and he is loving it. Oh my goodness. Um, I was <sighs> I was late to his first track meet because the other kids were coming home from school like right when his track meet started and he uh, was first in hurdles. Oh, I wanted to see him do the hurdles so bad. Uh, so I missed that, but I'll catch him on the next meet. Yeah! 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 Come on, Hunter, come on. Come on, Joe! He's so fast. Um, so he's loving track. He's also doing lacrosse right now uh, for two leagues. Um, and so he's loving that, getting back to the swing of it because he was doing football before. And then he, um, so he didn't do his fall lacrosse. And so he's getting back into it and he missed it and he loves it. And then he did get a concussion as you guys saw last week. Uh, was it la not last week, but the week before. He got cross checked. He ended up getting cross-checked and it like went up into his head or something like that. I don't know, Derek can explain it better. Um, so he had a slight concussion. Um, he had to, for two days, not do anything stimulating. Uh, no electronics, no TV, no music. Um, very chill, it was hard for him, but we kept him entertained and um, got some good laughs out of it. It was a good bonding moment. I had a good bonding moment with him during that. Um, but he's doing much better during spring break, like half a spring break, they just said um, no skateboards or anything like that. Um, just kind of keep it chill and he did and he's good to go. He's ready to start track tomorrow at school and um, yeah, and lacrosse practice tomorrow. So he's jumping right back into it. Boston and Shaylee are doing great. They're growing like weeds. They're doing really good in school. They're reading and, um, and everything is just, oh, they're soaring, soaring, and so um, very proud of them. They're coming a long way. Jonah uh, Boston is just soaring in his dyslexia tutoring. Um, as far as where he has come the last six months, it's amazing. We're just so proud of him. Shaylee's reading has improved so much, and she enjoys it. She loves reading. She loves writing. She writes us notes all the time. She's passing us notes all day yesterday. It was so cute. Um, all right, so as for Derek and I, uh, the big question is, 
uh, keto. <laughs> um, Derek is doing keto. Um, he took a little break. You know how life can get crazy, but he's jumping right back into it. It works so good for him. He feels amazing on it. I felt good. I felt very clear on it. Um, I liked it, but my body didn't. It was. It's very hard for me because I don't have a gallbladder. <laughs> kind of need that to process a lot of fat um so i noticed that with the too much dairy which i already know i have dairy is not my bestest friend um it just was really hard on my system so i am trying to do the um uh, stay away from gluten as much as i can but it's hard i'm just i'm just doing the best that i can right now I'm in survival mode my daughter's graduating leaving for college i am trying to get ready for hawaii i'm like so yeah, I'm feeling the stress of getting healthy right now, especially with Hawaii right around the corner. Um, so I'm just doing the best that I can. And that's the honest truth. So um, yeah, so my family's coming into town. My parents are coming in. Um, I know my sister was going to try to come into town, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I don't think it is. Um, but my parents are coming for Callie's graduation, and I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, so we're getting the house ready since we made the room swaps and just making sure that, you know, have things situated and little projects done. Um, yeah, so we, we've got a lot of projects to get done in our house, lots and lots before graduation. So we're feeling the pressure, but Derek and I said that we're going to sit down with Callie and if go over what we need for her party, what she wants, um, and what we want to do in the house and make a priority list. So that's what we're working on this week because there's lots of projects to do. Um, and then we're going to get ready to go to Hawaii. Oh my goodness, like right after graduation, like a week later, we're heading to Hawaii. That's how we're starting off the summer with the kids and they're so excited. We're going with all of Derek's family and they are just over the moon excited. They're a little nervous about the ocean I am too. Uh, sharks, <laughs> Boston. He's so nervous, but uh, but we're excited. We're so excited to go on this adventure. Um, we haven't been to Hawaii. Derek's never been to Hawaii, so we're just so excited to have this trip and to have this trip with Callie before she heads off to college. Okay, so for she's in her apron, what you're going to be seeing um, the next few vi videos is what we've had for dinner lately. I have a freezer meal tips and hacks video coming out for you, and a full day of cooking. A lot of the co the first video of what freezer meals I am making are the freezer meals you guys have seen time and time again but it's, it'll motivate you to make freezer meals. So the week after that you're gonna see some newer um, freezer meal recipes some that I have never tried before which I'm really excited about some techniques for you so yeah so stay tuned I've got I've been planning out this fun series for you guys and and I hate not having any freezer meals in my freezer so we're gonna go over all that and how you don't have to have a full freezer meal cooking day to how you can make it really super easy I'm answering your questions that you have left on previous videos it's gonna be a lot of fun so I'm excited all right, you guys, I hope you have a happy, happy Monday. I hope you feel productive or feel motivated. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing awesome, and we will see you soon. Bye. See ya. See ya. Stop it. <laughs> you are naughty. You're so grounded. You're so naughty. Oh my gosh. <laughs>